What's up, YouTube? Rob Lowe again with Chin Music with another tutorial. This is kind of a two for one because I'm I did these in the same take and I'm going to upload them at the same time. And it's another chopping tutorial, so they're related and not related but similar content. This one is going to show you how to chop inside SliceX, which is a native plugin for FL Studio. Now, the thing is, there's a ton of tutorials on YouTube on how to slice in SliceX and how to slice in Edison. What is different about this one is that it's a little bit closer to the way that you chop in one of the legacy MPC hardware units. And what, first of all, the, the, the SliceX, which the way SliceX chops is, is similar uh, to Edison. Well, it is Edison. It's the same engine, but how they do it here is they give you two options. It's either it's uh, dull, medium, or sharp auto slicing, which is uh, it, it slice. It has a uh, transient detection algorithm, and then it slices along those transient peaks, which is which is great for doing drum breaks. Not so great for doing whole arrangements where you take like a two bar or four bar loop. Okay, and the auto chop is really good for that. Uh, because it, it just is usually a more pleasing result on the NPCs. What you would do is you would get a two bar, four bar loop, load it in and then auto chop and it would chop it into 16 equal zones. And like zone chopping to me, in my opinion, is just a much better way of doing these um, melodic chops or whatever. If you want to chop rhythmic, rhythmically for whole arrangements, um, the other feature that slice x or edison will give you is small medium or large grid slicing so here i have a two bar loop and if you look if you choose ch large grid slicing it only gives you two chops now if you choose the medium grid slicing you know you get you get one two three four five six seven eight nine, twelve and then with the small grid slicing you will get it looks like about 32 and that's you know that's fine, but the problem is is that like the the grid slicing on um, Slice X and Edison is a little bit too inconsistent for me. So what I did was I had uh, a very helpful dude by the name of Jacek who is, who lives in Poland, but he um he writes you know scripts uh, helpful scripts for Slice X and Edison, and he wrote me a script which uh, is an auto chop script which will slice the sample into 16 equal parts and it'll be mapped out from C1 up every half step up the keyboard to 16 and it's it's just you know it's, it's dope it's dope it brings you back to the way of chopping in an MPC and the the another thing is is that when you use slice X you want to open up a sustaining preset because if you don't, what's going to happen is, is once you slice the chops, it's only going to play the chop on toggle mode. Like, whereas if you have to lift the key up to stop the, the sample from playing, if you leave this, if you load the sustaining preset, once you chop the beat, it'll be chopped. It'll be mapped out in the key range and then you can play each chop and it'll play to the end. And, you know, that is probably common knowledge for most size sex and Edison users. But anyway, so uh, here we go. You go to tools and, and I'm going to have the script for download in the uh, description so you can test it out and I'll show you how to put it in your folders or whatever. And go to user and here is the auto chop script. OK, boom, there you are. You got 16 chops, right? And uh, hold on, this is the pitch was down. Let me reset the pitch now. Um, yeah, here's, here's the sample. You don't Play. know what it is. What I like to do after everything is uh, chopped up, I like to just uh, perfect all regions with a D click and, 
in in and de-click out. And that's provided you like it the way it's chopped already. You can move the markers around to like the transient that you want if you need be, and then you can perfect all regions to de-click them and whatnot. One thing that you have to do in uh, SliceX to have all the samples cut each other is you have to set it to no input. And what I do is I make sure no put input is checked off. Go to the first slice and I leave my cursor inside of the cut window right here in the region settings. All right. And then you set cut one arrow key over cut one cut one and you just do it for every chop down the line. And if you just leave it in there, you can scroll wheel up to one cursor key over, scroll the wheel up to one cursor key over, scroll the wheel up to one, watch, rinse, and repeat. And it will get all 16 set up to cut each other off in a pretty uh, efficient manner. And then once you have this all set up over here, Here is the uh, pitch, so you can pitch it down. And that's it, man. Got it mapped out, Got it mapped out and chopped up, and you're good to go. And, uh, just like you're doing it in an NPC and with a few clicks. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope that helped you out. Be easy world.